in the studio today, I have the man of God, Prophet Advocate Joshua. My name is Meslin. I'm from Testimonies Magazine. And I am here by grace because I have been praying for the men of God to, to see me today because I've got quite a number of questions that I want to ask uh, the men of God. So welcome everybody who is watching here live on Facebook with uh, Prophet Advocate Joshua. Uh, his ministry is the Prophetic Ministry International. So Prophet, I have quite a number of questions that I would like to ask you today. I'm very sure everybody who's coming on the platform will be excited and they also have questions that they want uh, uh, to hear you answer. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. <coughs> Thank you, Prophet. Um, you know, the other reason why I came to this platform today to ask questions to the Prophet is because he declared uh, a very different, should I say, uh, theme for the year. The theme for the year, uh, year 2021, is the Great Fall, according to Prophet Advocate Joshua. Can you please explain to me what do you mean by that? Yes, um, God showed me for quite some time a lot of events mm -hmm. that um, supposed to happen in 2021. But um, they were not good events that I saw for people who have been following us from all over uh, the world we have followers they know uh, that I explained these things on our crossover uh, service uh, that you know even though I was seeing a lot of good prophecies being given by various men of God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what God showed me mm -hmm. was a lot of um, calamity occurring mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the reason why we then dubbed it the year of the great fall. Mm -hmm. So I saw people falling. Mm -hmm. And um, this was at an accelerated pace mm -hmm. um, to such an extent that um, now most people have actually been calling me from all over the world, mm -hmm. confirming that in actual fact, when we dubbed the year of the great fall god had actually spoken mm -hmm. so he's not just going to speak what people want to hear mm -hmm. it is also about um it is all about god's will mm -hmm. and the true identity of what is actually going to transpire in a year so prophecy is not trying to inspire a people mm -hmm. it is alerting them as to what is about to come Okay, so are you saying this pandemic is going to bring down a lot of people or we are going to see a lot of people dying? What exactly are you saying? You have to pray for the people who are close to you. Hmm. Because some of them, you may not be with them by the time we reach 1 February. Hmm. You have to pray for the people close to you. Okay. And pray for humanity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is very possible to see people being piled in a lorry. Mm -hmm. Very possible to see people being piled in a lorry just like that. Mm -hmm. So if ever people are to pray, this is the time. This is the year to be stronger. Mm -hmm. I tried, you know, I... I tried to negotiate with God regards mm -hmm. the theme, but... Mm -hmm. So, do, is this, is the, can we conclude by saying this is the will of God? Is, is, it, is God involved in this? Or is the devil that is that is put an affliction on the people, but God is saying uh, some otherwise? Like I told you in my previous prophecies when mm -hmm. I was talking, uh, prophesying about coronavirus, mm -hmm. I told... Um, the world and I said it that this is a, an evil spirit 
coming from the water. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, this is what you have to know. Whenever you are praying, you have to understand this. Mm -hmm. You can't address a problem that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And you can't pray for something that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is like trying to assist in a situation that you don't appreciate. Mm -hmm. So in order for people to pray, they have to know the source of the problem. All right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes I look at politicians and talking about giving various theories regarding this pandemic. And mm -hmm. The true identity of this pandemic is one that emanates from the water. It's an evil spirit that the world is battling with. Mm -hmm. The world is not dealing with something physical. Mm -hmm. They are dealing with a spiritual um, entity. Okay, so if this is a spiritual entity, are we saying uh, people can get prayed for and thus uh, and, and, and get rid of the disease? Because I believe that anything that's spiritual can manifest itself in the physical. But then if it's something that is touching, that is touching in the spirit, then it can only be addressed uh, by a spiritual man. Is it possible that when a person is suffering from COVID-19, they can also get prayed for and they can recover? You have actually answered yourself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hearing you asking me the question, I could actually pick the, the answer. Mm -hmm. um, you can't run away from the fact that the solution is with us right now. Mm -hmm. You can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. You can't run away from the fact that before COVID mm -hmm. came, mm -hmm. our God was already there can't run away from it. Yes. You also can't run away from the fact that COVID-19 is too small. Mm. When you begin to talk about our the kingdom that we belong to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, there are actually some people who are looking at you, mm -hmm. now watching you from various countries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who had the disease that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. And we prayed for them, mm -hmm. and they were healed. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, the fear that people have is actually a lack of understanding of scripture mm -hmm. and a lack of faith. Because you people must tell me something. How do you become afraid mm -hmm. of something whose solution you have already been given? Mm -hmm. If I have a solution to something, mm -hmm. I have no reason to be. To be afraid? Yes. But what, what specific solution, uh, Prophet, can you say you have right now to this pandemic? My only solution Mm -hmm. Not only to this pandemic, because if yes. we say to this pandemic, mm -hmm. it's like I, 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 I cherry pick solutions for, <laughs> for various uh, mm -hmm. problems as they come to say my solution for... You see, I'm not a Sangoma. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have ever gone to a Sangoma, I've never been there, but I've heard stories. Mm -hmm. To go to a Sangoma... Maybe for a problem of not being married, you are given some, a few sticks mm -hmm. that you put in water and you drink. Mm -hmm. But for buying a car, maybe you are, you are, you are told to bath 20 times. Mm -hmm. See, here, mm -hmm. we have one solution. Mm -hmm. That one solution, mm -hmm. It is J and an E and an S and a U and an S. That's Jesus. You, 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 you know it. You yes, know it. I do. Yes, prophet. Mm -hmm. That's the only one solution there is. But you know, um, yesterday I had a chat with um, 
quite a number of friends on a, uh, uh, a, a prayer group. It's a WhatsApp prayer group. And they kept on bombarding each other with questions like, we are Christians, but sometimes we get frustrated because we don't get our answers. And some were talking about getting delayed answers. What, what, what do you say to such? Because somebody could be suffering right now, but somebody has been frustrated before, maybe praying for something, it never happened. But now they're faced with a situation where they are supposed to believe that God has to deliver a solution to them. What, what do you say about that? You see, the problem that many people have, mm -hmm. it is not that God does not answer them. Mm -hmm. It is that they don't hear mm -hmm. when the answer is given. Oh. You see? Okay. I'm with you, Prophet. There are certain people mm -hmm. whose answers were already given, but they don't know. Mm. Because if your answer is to be given today, you have to be aware that it has been given. I'll give you this example. Mm -hmm. There's a certain uh, there's a certain businessman, he's a very big businessman. Mm -hmm. Very, very close to me. He's one of those people that um it's hard for me to spend a day without meeting him. Mm -hmm. We are close like that. So yesterday he says to me, he says to me, he was looking for me at his office, his own office, not my office. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in his mind he says it hadn't registered that I had left his office. But in his mind, I was in his office. We were still there. Yes. So he was looking for me at his own premise when I was in my own premise. Mm -hmm. So you have a class of Christians mm -hmm. who are not aware of the true reality of events in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So some of them, if you clearly analyze them, you're going to realize that the answers that they prayed for, mm -hmm. they are frustrated over what is already there. So you're saying if you are not spiritually alert, answers are big. But yes. because you lack discernment, yes. you don't get to know that you, you already have your answer. I'm telling you this. There are okay. people who are not aware mm -hmm. and who will never be aware mm -hmm. unless Jesus comes into their lives mm -hmm. so that they are able to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, having eyes you do not see. Mm -hmm. Having ears, you do not hear. Mm -hmm. So, he's not just talking about physical sight. Mm -hmm. He's talking about a special sight which comes in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Not the sight that you can say, I can see you sitting where you are, and I can see that, I can see this. No, mm -hmm. he's talking about spiritual sight. Spiritual sight. So, we have a lot of Christians. Uh -huh who are not aware of what is happening even in their own kingdom. My God. Uh, you know what? This is a very special topic, which I believe that if we start talking about it, we might not end up, you know, uh, fulfilling what we, 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 are here to, we are here for. But, you know, from what the prophet is saying, I am catching something. We do not have five senses, right? Indeed. And as, as, as human beings, we are human beings, but we are also a spirit, which makes us, people with 10 senses. So as we live, we must be conscious of the other five senses and not only be conscious of the physical senses. Am I right, Prophet? Indeed. indeed. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Prophet, you are very, very young. Uh, what would be the height of your success? And where do you see yourself in the next five years? That's a question that I never... I must say you are the first person to ask me that question. Thank you, Prophet. But um, 
five years, we must have impacted millions, if not billions, mm -hmm. um, of people. Um, we must have changed the lives of many by bringing them to Christ. Mm -hmm. So here you are not just talking about prophesying and giving prophecies that are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You are talking about impacting nations mm -hmm. to such an extent that um, we bring them to Christ, mm -hmm. to the full understanding of who Christ is. Amen. Um, and um, ensuring that each and every nation on this earth, I'm sure that we have managed to reach each and every nation of this earth now. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we managed to accomplish that. Each and but, every um, nation. In this world, we have managed to impact each and every nation. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, managed to reach out to each and every nation mm -hmm. on this earth. In our, in our administration, mm -hmm. but um, we want to increase mm -hmm. our reach mm -hmm. such that in each and every of those nations, mm -hmm. we expand our reach mm -hmm. to such an extent that um, you have millions mm -hmm. in every nation mm -hmm. being impacted. Okay. Yes. Uh, if I may just ask out of interest, what is your vision in terms of soul winning? Yes, I must say, in, in terms of soul winning, is my number one uh, mission. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, hell zero, heaven full. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, that is the goal. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. when you look at Matthew in chapter number 28, it mm -hmm. says that, um, Go ye therefore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that you can make disciples of all the nations. Mm -hmm. So this is the the mission that which, which many have coined mm -hmm. the Great Commission, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you ought to be ensuring that you bring um, all nations mm -hmm. to become disciples mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, because time is surely. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm sure there is another man of God out there for somebody who is starting ministry. Or somebody like myself from the Jesus of all nations, you know, I also have my own vision regarding soul winning. So, my question to you will be what strategies are you putting in place? Because you said you, you are now registered in each and every nation on this earth. How, how are you managing to do that? You see, I can't say I managed to do that, mm -hmm. I have a manager. Mm -hmm. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So how that happens, I mm -hmm. can't fully explain it. Sometimes I find things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we receive calls from weird countries. Mm -hmm. Some countries that I didn't even know exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you find them calling us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember in one year we had... Um, a certain gentleman coming to see us and you are saying he saw a man in his city carrying flyers which were written prophet advocate Joshua and we had not sent an emissary there. Wow. Okay. Remember when he came he actually blessed me with an iPad mm -hmm. and you are saying he was just told by a man who was standing in his city mm -hmm. to say go and see this man. Mm -hmm. So when you look at those things, I can't really attribute it to my personal management. Yeah, true. This is so everything is to do with what God does. The Messiah, the anointing. Yes. Prophets, you being young as you are, I still want to ask you a question. When did you receive your call? And how did you know that God had called you as a prophet? I was called into ministry at a very young age, mm -hmm. such that by the time I was in primary school, I was already prophesying. Wow. The first prayer that I made I was I was five years old. That's when I started. Uh, that's when I made my first prayer, mm -hmm. kneeling down. Mm -hmm. I remember that prayer. Mm -hmm. um, so, 
it's something that I was born with. Mm. Yeah. Um, all my life I have known um, God to, 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 to walk with me. Hallelujah. To such an extent that um, if I try to think about the number of prophecies that I have given, in, at, at, at primary level, I will, when you were still in I will, primary, I will run short of 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 of, of numbers in actual fact because mm -hmm. this is something that that started at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can't even remember the number of prophecies that I have given mm -hmm. even till now. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in primary school, I remember. I could describe um, even the manner of operation mm -hmm. of thieves that had come to operate within our area. Oh my God. And I could tell events way before time. Mm -hmm. um, such that um, all my family members, mm -hmm. those who passed on, Mm -hmm. I would talk about it before. Even when you talk about big events like weddings, mm -hmm. I would talk about them way before. Mm -hmm. To such an extent that it got to a point where in school, some of my teachers and lecturers thought it was unfair for me to write the same exams as mine. <laughs> that was what I was about to ask. How did your parents and the teachers and all the people around you handle it to realize that you could see things that they could not see? It is not easy to accept that um, there is a person amongst you who resides in an atmosphere that you do not have access to. Mm -hmm. So acceptance you know, there's, there's a journey of acceptance where people want to really know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and get used to it. Mm -hmm. But you are forced to be in a position where you don't have an option now because, you know, you, you, you can't ignore a man who will tell you that um, so and so is going to give birth in seven um, years from now. Mm -hmm. On such such a date in such such a month, mm -hmm. and you are wondering where does how does he get that accuracy? Mm -hmm. So you are forced you are forced to pay attention to him, mm -hmm. not because you volunteer, but because you are placed under prophetic duress mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to accept that very reality. Mm -hmm. So I, I saw it. I think it's in the book of Jeremiah. Where the six things were listed by Jeremiah mm -hmm. to overthrow, to build, to plant, to whatever. Are you functioning in those six areas? Indeed. Okay. And I still have the same question. How did your parents handle it to realize that they had a prophet among us the children? It was difficult, mm -hmm. but they ended up accepting. My mother, mm -hmm. um, accepted um, earlier, mm -hmm. she had no option mm -hmm. because there were also some prophetic um, utterances that had come prior regards my prophetic mm -hmm. gift. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she, would, she had had dreams before mm -hmm. of me operating in the prophetic realm. Wow. Okay. So for most of my childhood, I was with my grandmother I remember before she died, she said, Jesus was rejected by his own because she was seeing some of the fights that were coming in the family because of my gift. Mm -hmm. And she kept on repeating that Jesus was re rejected by his own. Mm -hmm. um, and one day she actually called me and she said, you know what? I really appreciate how it is that um, you are called of God. Mm -hmm. But one of the signs that shows me you are called of God is that there was some resistance mm -hmm. 
um, from your own brethren, your own kin, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because they were failing to come to terms with it, right. such that some of them were then starting now to to repent and say, we are now accepting that you are yeah, our covering. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. the covering of the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is this is this is the precise uh, answer to your question. All right, Prophet. Thank you so much for answering that for me. Uh, when did you start ministry? When did you know that now it's time for me to start saving? Now saving God, I started when I was in primary school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you you might be asking about. PMIC Church. Yes, exactly. PMIC Church was constituted. I think the constitution is a 2015 constitution. Mm-hmm. So we constituted it in 2015. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. But um, we had started ministering long back. Um, I was ministering in high school. I was ministering in primary school. I was ministering even when I went to, to university. Mm-hmm. I was ministering, yes. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 the basic answer to your question. Okay. So which year did the PMI start? Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So you have faced any kind of persecution and how have you responded to, to that so far? Well I, I don't respond. Uh-huh. My business is not responding to persecution. Mm-hmm. My business is to preach Christ. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm also human. Mm-hmm. I have feelings. Mm-hmm. But I don't respond to persecution. And critics. They are their business is to criticize. Okay. Mine is to preach Jesus. Amen. So do you move around with protocol? Do you have people around you? And who who, who are these people that are in your inner circle? Many people, um, I have so many loved ones, Mm -hmm. um, very close to me, um, some of them are actually watching right now, that I talk to at a personal level, Mm -hmm. that I walk with, Mm -hmm. um, that surprise me as an individual, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it would be difficult to to pick all of them, mm-hmm. but um, I have so many people around me mm-hmm. who who take my my problems to be their own, mm-hmm. who feel hurt when I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. Do I cry? Yes, they cry when I cry. Mm-hmm. So many of them. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Prophet, uh, are you going to mention names or you're just going to say you have so many of them? Mentioning names is, um, you know, it's like um, trying to make me read every letter <laughs> on my call list. Yes. But I have so many people mm-hmm. who are dear to me. And very close to me. Oh, we thank God for that. We provide me with support in every manner. We thank God for um, that. Yeah, and I thank God for, for those people. Amen. Do you have a, a spiritual father, Prophet? Apostle Steve. Yes, of which ministry? Yes. Believers World Ministries um, International. Amen. So what, what do you say about some men of God who do not have spiritual